friends, Shelly here, the Youth and Family Program Coordinator, and I'm here today to share with you our daily Bible reading from our new Taking Faith Home Toolkit that we've been using as a church to learn, practice, and grow our faith each and every day. If you have a Bible nearby, go ahead and grab it and you can follow along with our reading for today. Before we get started, a reminder, our theme for this week from Taking Faith Home is Jesus wants us to be at peace with one another. And for Monday, our Bible reading comes from Numbers, it's chapter 11, and we're gonna read verses four through six, 10 through 16, and 24 through 29. The rabble with them began to crave other food. And again, the Israelites started wailing and said, if only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt at no cost. Also the cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions, and garlic. But now we have lost our appetite. We never see anything but this manna. Moses heard the people of every family wailing, each at the entrance to his tent. The Lord became exceedingly angry with Moses, became exceedingly angry, and Moses was troubled. He asked the Lord, Why have you brought this trouble on your servant? What have I done to displease you that you put the burden of all these people on me? Did I conceive all these people? Did I give them birth? Why do you tell me to carry them in my arms as a nurse carries an infant to the land you promised on oath to their forefathers? Where can I get meat for all these people? They keep wailing to me. Give us meat to eat. I cannot carry all these people by myself. The burden is too heavy for me. If this is how you are going to treat me, put me to death right now. If I have found favor in your eyes, and do not let me face my own ruin. The Lord said to Moses, Bring me seventy of Israel's elders who are known to you as leaders and officials among the people. Have them come to the tent of meeting, that they may stand there with you. So Moses went out and told the people what the Lord had said. He brought together 70 of their elders and had them stand around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke with him, and he spoke of the spirit that was on him and put the spirit on the 70 elders. When the spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but they did not do so again. However, two men whose names were Eldad and Medad had remained in the camp. They were listed among the elders, but did not go into the tent. Yet the Spirit also rested on them, and they prophesied in the camp. A young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Joshua, son of Nun, who had been Moses' aide since youth, spoke up and said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses replied, Are you jealous for my sake? I wish that all the Lord's people were prophets and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. So, that was an interesting reading today about Moses and the elders. How do you think that may relate to this idea of Jesus wants us to be at peace with one another? If you have someone um, nearby, I, it'd be a great conversation to have with a friend or a family member. Um, one of the things that stuck out to me that maybe you might want to talk about is at the end there where uh, Joshua was like, hey, stop these people, stop these people. But Moses said, no, let them, you know, do their thing. 
And I think part of it was at the beginning of the story, I heard Moses saying he felt very burdened by all of the expectations of what he needed to do to help all of these people. And so he appreciated having these other people be a part of, of what God wanted them to be and that the Spirit was on them. And so when we think about that theme of Jesus wants us to be at peace with one another, it was sort of like, no, I don't have to be the, you know, the star. Moses didn't have to be the star of the show. He was at peace with others helping out because he was, he was overwhelmed almost, it seemed, in the story to me. So again, great things to talk about with family or friends, um, someone close by. And of course, you can always um, talk to God in your prayers about it if you have questions or there's something that maybe seemed kind of tricky in the reading, as well as grab a piece of paper and jot down your ideas and just do a little personal reflection. So I hope you are having a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you all really soon.